Hey guys, how's it going? Good morning. I decided that from now on, at least for a while, until I get like all caught up with my um, blog and my videos and YouTube and everything synced again, back to normal, basically it's all my fault, let's be honest. Um, but because I, I tend to like shoot videos, I don't have a problem shooting my videos, and then I'll either get backlogged in uploading them, <laughs> this is where a third assistant would come in, or seventh. Um, I get backlogged in uploading them to YouTube or making them go live, and then I'm certainly backlogged in getting them up on my blog. So, working on it. Um, maybe when I'm on vacation in a few days, um, I'll be able to get myself back in, into a habit. A uh, couple of things. I just finished uh, for the first time doing, well, <laughs> I can't say I did the whole thing. Um, Kathy's, okay, so. See if I can turn this around for you. This is, um, you see? This is Kathy. So remember I've told you guys about X-Train, her new X-Train series that she sent me, Kathy Friedrich. Um, and for those of you that might be just watching this video and haven't heard me mention her before, it's spelled C-A-T-H-E. And her last name is spelled almost like the word fried and rich together, but it's Friedrich, F-R-I-E-D. R-I-C-H, but her website is just Kathy.com, C-A-T-H-E.com. I've been a massive fan of hers for years and years and years and years, and I'm just going to say this every single time I talk about her stuff. All of her videos are advanced. All of them are kick-ass. All of them have not only like the primary workout, but then she does, you can break it down by chapter. So, you know, if you say, oh, I want to go back and do, you know, this whole other leg press slaughter. <laughs> I'll do that. And she has all these premixes, which are amazing. So this is her latest, um, I love this song. This is her latest release. It's X Train, which is a series. There's nine DVDs. Can you see the sweat dripping down? I have 300, let's say 350 calories, probably 340. Um, this is the ninth DVD. It's called Tabata Size. Now, for those of you that are familiar with Tabata, you know what I'm talking about. It's intense. 20 seconds of hardcore work, 10 seconds rest, immediately jumping back into 20 seconds. So you do 20, 30, 20, 10, 20, 10. Cool thing about Tabata is, you know, say you're traveling, you know, you can do Tabata with weights, you can do Tabata with cardio, you can do Tabata, and, you know, I think it's called Tabata Protocol or whatever. Some people call it Tabata, I call it Tabata. Um, but you can kind of translate that and, and really, sounds so hokey, like something they'd say on the Today Show. You can really have a lot of fun with it. Um, but anyway, so like say you are traveling and you need to get a workout in. You didn't bring any equipment, but you're in your hotel room. You know, you could do Tabata with, start off with running in place. Run in place, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. 20, trust me, if you haven't done this, try it. Do it with um, stationary lunges, you know, sitting like this. And let me tell you, if you squat really hard and really focus on your glutes and hard. Um, if you focus really hard, 20 seconds and then stop for 10 and then maybe do one where it's plyo. Ooh, do plyo. You can do anything for 20 seconds. You can also do weights. Obviously, if you're going to do weights, I would think that you would do like lighter weights. I'm trying to think if I've ever done like a weighted Tabata. You know, like you do, I, I don't know. I, I know that you can do kettlebells, okay? All kinds of stuff you can do. Um, so anyway, this is her Tabata size DVD which has, I wonder if I should bring this in. It'd be really rude if I really got it, wouldn't it? But can you guys just wait a second? Just watch my coffee brew for two seconds. I promise I'm hurting. I promise I'm hurting. to explain something to you. So, uh, these are all the discs. So Tabata size, the full workout is 44 uh, minutes. Now the only equipment you need is a step with two risers. I use the mini step, but what I want to tell you is this workout, the Tabata, just the Tabata DVD alone. Where's the, here it is. Um, good Lord. Whoa. Okay, so by the way, the book that comes with this breaks down all of her DVDs. So just letting you know, these are all of the Tabata moves that are on this workout. 
You see this? This is all the pages, all the different moves. So there are a total of, hold on, Tabata size, summary. Blah, 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 blah. Create a Tabata size to reflect this type of Tabata training. The workout consists of five different four minute Tabata workouts. Each of the five Tabata workouts is followed by a step recovery blast. That was no recovery. Um, since your maximum heart rate will often exceed 90%, included these recovery blasts, blah, blah, blah. Um, with any, so, level one, I don't know if you can, can you see this? Up there? So, level one, which I started with today, just has one Tabata, okay? One Tabata cycle, which is that, uh, a total of four minutes. Now, some of you that have never done Tabata are probably going, four minutes? What can you do in four minutes? I'll tell you a lot of stuff I can do in four minutes, okay? Um, level two has Tabata one and two. Level three, one, two, and three. Level four, one, two, three, and four, and so on. Level five has one, two, three, four, and five. Um, the warm up is almost eight minutes. Each Tabata looks like it's about six minutes, sorry. Six, most of them are six minutes. Then there's a stretch for five minutes. There's a bonus, of course, every DVD of hers has bonuses on it. There's a bonus core workout for 10 minutes, a bonus core workout for 12 minutes, a bonus burn set, bonus burn back, a 100 rep challenge flat bench tricep extensions. Dear God in heaven, I hate working triceps. A 100 rep challenge bicep curls. Uh, that should be fun to try someday when I'm drunk and passed out. Um, <laughs> did I just say that? <laughs> anyway, here's what I'm going to tell you. So I did this, and I, when I put the DVD in, my cockiness got a hold of me, and I'm like, I've been working out for a while. I can do number, I could probably go up to number two. Let me tell you something. I put in DVD number one, or excuse me, one DVD, I put in just Tabata one. Because I figured, okay, start with that, see what the flow is like. And then if you, if you really want, you can repeat it or you can go back and add. So I did one, and I'm going to tell you. The cool thing about Tabata, in, in this one, the first Tabata, four moves. Let's see if I'm understanding correctly. So there's like a, a plie, plie jacks, um, something that's a combo of plyo jacks and tuck jumps. Uh, then there's like a jumping thing. What was the other one? I thought there was four. Pretty, or maybe there's two versions of the jump, the, like the frog jump things. But you catch on pretty quickly and you know what the moves are and you learn to dread them because you're like, oh dear God, here come the tuck jumps again. And you get those little 10 seconds of rest and you're just, my heart rate was up to, uh, speaking of which, I've got to take a picture. My heart rate most of the time was about 150. So my heart rate really got up there and uh, gosh, I have so much to tell you guys, but let me Instagram. You following me on Instagram? Kelly Alexa. Uh, hold on. 378. Um, let me just post that really quick. So, because we have Siri. I'm going to get to the phone thing in a second. Why are you not working? We're going to do that later. Because then I'm going to get to this little gem. Ooh, is this as big as my head? Yes, it is. Much bigger than this little. Look at this. The iPhone 5 fits inside like a little baby with this leftover space, my new droid, which I'm going to get to in a moment. And that's like a new case. Focus, Kelly. Bring it on in. Bring it on in. Okay, so I did Tabata 1, okay, Mr. Flo. Um, Tabata 1 kicked my ass. Now, what I, here's what I, I will tell you. Um, because what I'm shooting for right now, my kind of my, my flow with my workouts is I do cardio in the morning, first thing when I get up, um, fasted cardio, maybe half an hour. Um, and then I do cardio, if I haven't gone, if I'm not lifting, I'm gonna do cardio again at night before I go to bed. If I, and, and again, not a lot, like we're talking, sometimes I do like a 20 minute turbo fire or something like that. But there's cardio at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day. Now if I go lift, what I do is I end my session just like I did back when I trained with Jay. And I'll end it with like stairs, uh, the, the hard stairs. Um, so there's just some good amount of cardio and I love it because it allows me to do the fun cardio that I like. It allows me to train heavy, heavy, heavy at the gym. And I'm going to be going back to my hot yoga place this weekend. I'm so excited. There's just so much going on. Anyway, so I put this in. And I did the first Tabata, and she was getting ready to go into the cool down. Now, A, it kicked my ass, but I was, you know, this is just me. I kind of like, 
it's just a mental thing. Like I'm, I'm, I kind of like to shoot for a 300 calorie burn. It's just my thing. Um, because then I know I'm doing like the same amount of intensity. So I was at like a hundred calorie burn and that was after working out for about like eight minutes. Um, so then I figured what I would do. I did actually three rounds of this one Tabata. So I haven't done Tabata one, two, three, four, and five. I just did one, but then I re-round it and did it three times. Um, I, by the last time I did the third round, when we got to the plie squats, I couldn't even finish because I was just so fatigued in my muscles um, that I, I couldn't even do it. So all I'm telling you is, again, Kathy <laughs> blows my mind every time. Blows my mind. And you know what I like too is when she's working out, you can tell that she is also um, fatigued, she's exhausted. Like there was one point when she was doing the cool down and you know she was walking side to side and in the beginning they were moving their arms up and down. You know like, see how would you do that? That looks really stupid. Um, and she's like, I can't even do the arms, I'm too tired. Just move like this. Um, so it's just, she's very human and of course there's a good stretch, which I did stretch, really focusing on making myself stretch. Um, so cheers to you. And then I am gonna make this under 15 minutes because I'm gonna make just two maybe small points and then I'm gonna go have my coffee. I haven't even had my coffee yet. You see, you guys think that like I'm always peppy and happy because I drink a ton of caffeine. I didn't even have any soda yesterday and I haven't even had my coffee yet. And, ah! See how I am? That's just natural DNA. Also, this is my new, uh, brand new Reebok top. Um, this is, oh, I, I'll put it on the blog. I'll put it on the blog, but I obviously, I don't know if you can tell the color. It's like a teal, really pretty teal. Of course, it's racer back in the back. I've given up on all tops. The fact that your bra is going to show, I'm just over it. Most of the time, though, I did get a bunch of new racer back bras. So, but I'm at home. So, if I look like a desperate housewife with my bra straps hanging out, I'm over it. Um, so, and yes, took my pro sculpt this morning. I might have a little bit more now because I'm feeling a little sassy. Anyway. So wanted to tell you about, and I'm gonna tell you as I go through and work out with um, Kathy's, I mean, I'm just touching the surface, but obviously, what have I done? I did the um, cardio leg blast, which I loved, and I think that was one of the days I was sick, so I didn't do the full thing, but this is just part of Tabata, which is awesome. And then back to, I'm just gonna give you a little preview, because I will do a separate video review of this when I'm not sweaty and disgusting. Um, here's our new friend. <laughs> that is going to make this little, look at this, oh, this little iPhone 5 all by itself, like, look, I'm small, I'm insecure, I'm that guy at the gym that doesn't lift weights. And here's the droid, I'm a badass. This is like my, this is like Michael. Um, if Michael's watching this, he's probably like, oh, who is this girl? Um, anyway, so I was very, very excited. Um, the folks at HTC were kind enough to send me um, the new droid, which, Again, let's just look. Size does count, people. You see this? How much extra space? And I do have a cover. I bought um, this protective thingy. I don't even know what it's called. Otter or something. Um, now, I'm still... I just set this up last night, so I'm still getting it all together. But, you know... Ooh, look at that. Oh, you're not going to see my passcode. Oh, for the love of God. I get angry when devices talk back to me. Um... As you can see, we have our Instagram, we've got our Twitter. I'm probably not gonna do this right. <sighs> oh, you're not supposed to see that, just kidding. Um, but uh, it, I set it up by myself. Now, I've never had um, a droid operating system, so it was kind of new to me. Um, but like anything, you just kind of get to get used to it um, because it, it's, it's different than this, <sighs> obviously. Um, but I am excited, so this will be, I'm probably, I am gonna keep, two phones because I have been saying that I needed to have a private line for myself for a while so that sometimes I can go and only take calls from important people or people that don't get on my last nerve. Did I just say that out loud? Yes, I did. Um, but I am very, very excited and I will do separate reviews about this. Um, obviously the size is impressive. Um, and also the battery life because this phone, I make one phone call and they made it of course, I know Mophie is a totally different company, but if you don't have a Mophie for an iPhone, you're screwed. Because if you make like two phone calls, oh, I'm at half battery mast. Sorry. Oh, look at the little scene change. It's cute. I get excited about very small things, actually. That sounded very wrong. 
Um, I need to go have my coffee. I'm feeling great. Um, I also have new, ooh, I'm right at 15 minutes, but you know what, I do want to show you these because while I'm thinking of it, these are the new um, Reebok shoes that we just got sent. So as you can see, I don't know if you can really tell, they, they match. Can you see the colors? But here's the thing. If you've seen some of my reviews of the, the Reebok shoes in the past, you know that my personal, like my personal favorite shoe is the Zig. Now this is the, you see that? Real Flex? Yeah, it says it on there. Um, so I'll show you some of the other Real Flex. I don't know what's different about this, but what I like, it, and this is just a personal preference, it's not um, uh, anything negative about the shoe itself. Um, my personal preference is that when I wear shoes, especially for training where I'm kind of getting up and kicking, you know, I like the stability. I kind of like feeling that my, my foot is locked in. And in, in, my, in my opinion, the reason that I wouldn't wear like the other real flexes that I have, they're very comfortable. They, it's almost like, I don't want to say you feel like you're not wearing anything, but it's so light and comfortable and th there's just such an ease of movement with your foot that when I'm doing things like kickboxing where I'm up on one leg, I almost feel like I'm not locked in enough. That's my personal preference. Everybody else is crazy about the Real Flex. I've always been the one, I like the Zigs, and then I like the, uh, uh, what's the other one called? Oh, because I'm just ordering some more. Uh, God, now it's gonna piss me off. Um, Excite. If you go on, if you go on Reebok.com, I know this because I'm just I'm ordering like five new pair. Um, it's uh, there's the Zigs. These are not the Zigs. These are the Real Flex. And then there's the CrossFit shoes. And then there's the um, there's something and it, it's called Excite. Why can't I think of it? There's Zig. And then there's another one. I could be. I'll look it up anyway. All I'm saying is this, and I don't know if this is like a newer version or a new, newer model, I'll find out and I will put all of the info that they sent me up on my blog. But this really feels a lot more um, solid. I feel a lot more locked in. Um, maybe I think this is a little higher than some of the other Real Flexes. All I'm saying is like, I love it. I, wore, I used these to work out in last night. Um, the other ones for me, Real Flex, I tended to wear those um, like I would work out more in my zigs and the other ones. Damn, I can't remember the name of that. But then the real flexes, I would say for, you know, like non-weight days or anything where I felt like I really needed that stability. Again, it's just a personal preference. Out of all of my Fit Financial ambassadors that get the real flexes, I'm the only one that has that feeling. They're all like, I love it, it's so comfortable, I wear it all the time, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, but this, I think this is, this is where it is. I feel like back here, in the back, it's it's got more of that locked in feeling. I could be wrong, I'd have to look, but all that said, I really, really like these. Brand new, very sassy, and of course, I made it an 18 minute vlog, so there you go. I have to go have my coffee. You guys have a great day, and I will talk to you tomorrow, okay? Ciao!